This is extremely pretentious. To criticize filmmakers for getting them out however they can is pretty stupid. You stand on your soapbox and preach independence, but in reality, 99% of well-made movies are studio movies. Things on YouTube are barely movies, and your ideas are so biased and catered toward what you like. We don't all, we don't all like barely edited movies thrown up on YouTube, and most of the population agrees based on what they spend their time and money on and watch. Your ideas are far too extreme and promote people to follow things they can never actually accomplish. The idea is great, but you're living on cloud nine thinking movies on YouTube can actually match studio films. To assume all art is good is insane. Very few people want to watch your student project you put together in a week or two. It takes time and dedication to make something actually worth watching. Most of the art people make is actually terrible and it's good why good art stands out. That was a comment that was left on my video a couple weeks ago about no budget movies released on YouTube by uh, the scholar Lunchbox. And um, usually when I get aggressive or needlessly uh, critical comments or straight up troll comments, I, I got to do my best to move past them. They're, they're not worth your time. And I even commented, I have no patience for people like you have a nice life. But then I, I, I took a moment to reflect and I realized that this is a really great comment to use for a, a, a great lesson. And that's, uh, I, I spent years as a filmmaker um, just with no audience. It's dozens of people watching, a hundred people watching every upload for two to three years. I made like, I made like five or six feature films that got hundreds of views each. I, I um, I did that, and along the way, you, you, you run into people like this, closed-minded people who are stuck in a very basic industry mindset. And, and they, they react so aggressively because like any idea in life, you know, your people are protective about a few things, their possessions, the things they love, and their ideas. And when your ideas are confronted by a new idea, you're always gonna go on the offensive or defensive in a very offensive way. But um, yeah, you, you run into people all the time. I always tell the story of, I was carrying my tripod out filming and I bumped into this guy and we started talking. And I'm like, yeah, I'm a filmmaker. And he's like, oh cool, what do you do? And I'm like, oh, I just make stuff alone. I just finished my feature film, Island. It's a movie I made alone. And he just puts up a wall and goes, you can't do that. That's not a movie. This complete stranger who bumps into me starts telling me that's not a movie. And I'm like, I literally did it. I mean, I finished it. It's done. I just finished my movie. It's a movie. And he just was so, he was from a different film school than I went to. And he was so confronted by this idea that you don't need a crew and you don't need a big budget and you don't need this and that, that he just like went into pure denial mode and it was insanity to me. But um, the, it, it's hard to get discouragement especially from people online, people who, who like hide behind a computer. Discouragement is such a powerful force and, and uh, you know, encouragement and discouragement are the two most powerful forces in art. And I think it's evil people who give the former and uh, good people who give the latter. And um, if I didn't have such a strong will, I've always firmly believed in my ideas and over time, however many stupid comments like this I get, I just get more and more like hardened in my ideas because I know they're, they're sound, I know they're true, and I know how, frankly, dumb the arguments sound from coming from the other side. And um, one other one I got that made me laugh, it's a little funnier, is, yo dude, you are getting way too hipster socialite and boring with the movie reviews. Watch real movies with substance and stories, i.e. 1917, Hell or High Water, Wind River, Grand Torino, etc. Real movies, eh? And uh, <laughs> that one, you know, I mean, I, I never ever will criticize people for enjoying what they enjoy, but if, if your idea of a real movie is just what like a, a, your uncle down south finds at the red box, uh, <laughs> it's not very promising. I mean, Godspeed, they're well-made movies. I liked Grand Torino growing up. Wind River was a fine time. Haven't seen the other two. But to, to call what I'm doing hipster and socialite is so 
so far missing the mark and same back to the first comment calling it pretentious makes no sense at all because what I'm advocating is filmmaking is something anyone can do everyone should do it and it's not for money it's not for views it's not for fame it's because it helps you process things it helps you tell stories it's hel it helps you just feel better about yourself going to sleep at night knowing you created something and and you shared that thing it doesn't matter if it reaches 10 or 20 or a thousand or 10,000 or 100,000 whoever it reaches is fine but it's more about the creating and to call that idea pretentious more pretentious than this idea that only a select few people get to make movies and they all should cost millions of dollars and they'll be owned by corporations and they should only be shown on giant screens how is that not more pretentious than this, hey, make a movie? Like, what is the pretentious is thrown around by people who get scared and they don't know what they're talking about. I used to call movies pretentious that I didn't get, then I realized I just didn't get them. And pretentious is a, a shield word. It's a word you throw up because you, you, you're not ready to confront the idea that you're being presented with. And, um, and once again, to criticize filmmakers for getting them out is pretty stupid. I did not criticize filmmakers. I said that people can post on YouTube. That is opening the gate to filmmakers getting their films out however they want. I said post stuff on YouTube, post it any way you want. If anything, he's probably the one who, he's actively discouraging people from how they get them out there. Pretty dumb there. 99% uh, of movies, well-made movies are made by studios. I think in his definition of well-made, he was probably talking about it looks polished like a turd it's beautiful and expensive and it has tons of polish and cgi do you know like so many movies and tv shows that we see have beauty filters on everyone's faces just to make their skin look smooth and everything that's a thing my friend works at a color grading studio beauty filters on every tv show they do just to make people look smoother and i'm just like what does that have to do with art what is this weird level of polish and perfection we're being presented? What does that have to do with art? And it's so brain dead to, to crave polish and perfection and to misunderstand that that's not what I'm looking for in YouTube movies. He says I'm biased and cater towards what I like. Yeah, everyone who would ever recommend or talk about anything ever is talking about what they like and what they don't like and viewing it through that lens. That, that's uh, given with any critic or anyone who's talking about their opinions. Um, it goes on. Uh, you, you're on cloud nine thinking YouTube can match actual studio films. Well, I think his flaw there is thinking, I, I think they should match. They should not match. They should not look like studio movies. They should not sound like. They should not be written like. They should not be shot like. YouTube movies are allowed to be scrappy and unpolished and beautiful for different reasons and cool for different reasons. And that accessibility and that letting people know that they can do it too and watching a movie and being like, oh, I could make this is such a cool feeling as opposed to, oh yeah, they spent a million dollars there, billion dollars there. Oh, Robert Downey Jr. is here, so he got $50 million. What does that have to do with art? What does Robert Downey Jr. getting $50 million have to do with art? What does anyone making more than a million dollars just for plain make-believe have to do with art? That is such a bloated, ego-driven system of a bunch of industry people who, who want to act like they're for the people, but they're so far above and beyond our comprehension of life. That, that they don't give a shit about us. Watch the Oscars, they don't, they don't give a shit about us. That's their beauty pageant that they, they parade around and they pat each other on the back. It's not, <laughs> that's not art. Very few people watch your student project put together. It, he, he's caught on this idea of the, 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 the numbers because we're in a capitalist society. We're in a society that rewards numbers. It acts like success is numbers and numbers is success. And that is so far from the truth. Success is so much more personal than that and it's so much more free than that. It's not like, oh, your movie got seen by 10 people, but this studio movie got seen by millions of people and made millions of dollars, therefore it's better. If your movie views stop at things are expensive and they make money, therefore they're good, you have a lot to learn. And if you don't wanna learn it, Godspeed. If you don't want to learn at Godspeed, you could go on in your life watching crummy movies <laughs> and enjoying them, but it has no interest to me. 
and your comment is pointless. It's just, you're coming into a space of happy people, and I wanna really stress this, comment sections have been beautiful on this channel. All loving, happy people sharing and, and embracing filmmaking and sharing and embracing this like this YouTube video especially the one about YouTube films so many positive comments about how people connect with movies more and how people see those movies differently and how those movies affect them differently and how they have warped and changed their views in a positive way and um, so I had this hyper fixation on these negative comments uh, I wanted a fun moment just to pick it apart because it, 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 you don't get that often as a creator and it's fun to just be like this is a, such a bloated nonsense comment but um, it's also a great lesson like I said because you will face people like this and you'll, you might doubt yourself if you're not as strong willed or you might, you might uh, get discouraged from creating if you face too much of this but I'll tell you this much at the end of the day keep going you just keep going keep making stuff keep keep chasing what you know trust your gut you know i always trusted my gut i never believed any of the nonsense i was fed that that pushed me away from creating something right now anything that tells you wait your turn create later you need more money you need more experience you need more time you need this you need that you need an audience come back to me when you've you've proven yourself all of that is bullshit. just create something and all the people who are shouting that same noise at you because they're fragile and insecure and they haven't done anything themselves and they're just like flailing because they don't, they don't have anything themselves to show. So they're like, I'll take these people down who have found a different way of succeeding, a different way of finding fulfillment in their work. They're like, because it's hard for me to do what I want to do, which is make a studio movie. It's nearly goddamn impossible for me to do that. And it's either change my views entirely, that's hard, don't want to do that. So instead, they lash out at the people who have different views than them and they're like, that's not a movie, you're not making movies, that's a school project, that's a YouTube video. People like that are just insecure and I try to understand that at the end of the day. These people, they are, they're on their own journey, they're figuring their own stuff out and you need to be able to dismiss people with similar grace. You need to say, Godspeed, God bless you. I wish you the best. I got no time. I got no patience. Don't give your time and patience to people who don't deserve it and don't don't waste a lot of time fighting battles that you already know the answer to. So um yeah. I did a little different video today. I, I guess it speaks a little more to creating in general, but I, I think I think I really wanted to touch upon this for those people who are, ever feel discouraged. So um yeah. I love you guys a lot. I love movies. I hope you're having a nice week, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Testing, testing.